Hey everyone and welcome to episode 14 of an Aussie Tries. Uh, sorry for the difference in how this one's being recorded, but hopefully better audio. So, uh, yeah, it's just me today and we're going to try something kind of interesting. These are Kit Kats. But they're not just any Kit Kats, obviously. I wouldn't be eating just fucking Kit Kats on this show. These are actually from Japan. And they are actually green tea Kit Kats. Just dump them all out there. You get, you get 12 in a pack. I'm not holding up all of them. There's still like three on the ground here. So, yeah, they're very tiny things. Like, very tiny. Like, that's not even a fun size. That's a very small size. But, uh, yeah. Japanese green tea Kit Kats. I'm not a fan of tea. I hate tea. The only tea I can stand, it's an empty can of it somewhere here, was this uh, watermelon green tea. And that was because it had wa more watermelon juice in it than green tea extract. So uh, that, was, that was good. But this might be interesting to try. So... Uh, open her up and she's looking very green look at that it's almost as green as my hat different shade of green something I'm noticing is that the chocolate is very quickly running onto my fingers it's very cold in this room it's winter here in Australia almost very cold and the chocolate is very quickly melting and running all over the place it's also very soft you can see the insides there actually well section it off, you can actually see that the wafer itself is a bit green. So, whoa, mmm, <laughs> very leafy, very leafy, yeah, very leafy and, yeah, it smells a bit like white chocolate, I would guess white chocolate and green tea, this would be. So let's take the one I already broke in half. Um, hmm. It's white chocolate. It gets very lumpy. The chocolate. It's actually a bit gritty. Like, very fine, fine, like, sand or grit sort of texture to it. The chocolate. It's got the good crunch. And they're not, they're not bad. For someone who doesn't like green tea, um, it's actually not that bad, bad. I could eat these uh, quite happily, actually. The chocolate doesn't have a smooth consistency, though. I'm guessing it's like the tea. Little bits of tea leaves that making that grit, but it's a bit rough. You don't get that hit of either chocolate or tea at first, it's just sort of a nothing biscuit. And then you sort of get that hit. So it's mild, it's not gonna like overpower you with a tea flavor, which is why I would actually recommend these. Kit Kats I almost hit on the, the ground. So yeah, green tea Kit Kat from Japan. They're not bad. But they aren't that smooth, so, you know, try them. These were very expensive for me to get, so I'll not be getting them again. But, you know, they're all right. I will happily enjoy these yeah, maybe a couple a day. Just put them in the fridge or something. You gotta put those in the fridge. They, if I can find that. Where did I put the wrapper? It's actually like streaks of the chocolate already melting. And the room is like 4 degrees or like less than 40 Fahrenheit in here. And they're melting. Uh, so I don't know. They're also next to an aluminium can. So that's also cold. I don't know, very melty, throw these in the fridge. And uh, yeah, that's my review of it. 
I like them. Japan? I know you've got a lot of Kit Kat flavors and I can't really get a hold of them, but doing good with them. So I will see you guys for the next Aussie tries where we'll probably go back to a drink. So yeah, see you guys then.